Hey, now we want to see the information from the database on this page in list form. So I can, I could create a whole new page and put that on that page. We're simply going to put that list on this page as we enter the information we want it to appear below here for this particular page. Again, we could do this in a separate page. We're just going to keep this simple. We could do it in a separate page, the add section and the link to that page. So now, very important question I have for you guys. If you want to see the information from the database on this page, what do I have to have? I have to have a record set, set of records, record set. So if you're inserting information, you don't need to have a record set, okay? Now, we need a record set for this because this information is coming, this pull down menu was coming from the category table. So we need the record set for that. We do need the record set for the category table, which is listed here. So before we move forward here, we need to create a record set for products, products record set. So we're going to go up here to server behaviors and say record set products, RS products. So we could RS products. Now, which table we're going to talk to? We're going to talk to the products table. Now, let's, because we can, let's sort this by, let's sort this by category name. So as an example, if you hit test right now, it's going to put autos first, followed by boats, followed by planes, followed by trains. Okay, so we can do this. So I went to server behaviors, record set, we create a record for products. Now an important step here, whenever you create a products table, it's up to you on how much information you want to see for that products table. In this particular case, we're going to see all the information. We could just say, okay, I just want to see the product category. I just want to see the product name. And again, I could do this by holding down the command key Macintosh or control key for Windows. So this will create a record set for these three field names. But in this particular case, we're going to create a record set for all the field names. We're going to select all. So this record set has not been filtered because we're in the admin section. So inside the admin section, we're going to choose not to filter this information, but we do want to sort it by category name, ascending, we hit OK. So that was done because server behaviors, record sets, create bindings. Bindings populate the page. So again, let's review this. Record sets create bindings. Bindings populate the page. So if I put my cursor here, I'm going to go up here to data tab, data, and this icon right here is dynamic table. We're going to dynamically create a table. So we're going to click here and say dynamic table. Now it's going to say what record set you want to use to create this table. We're going to pick the products table, the products record set. Then it's going to say how many records do you want per page. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I don't have a lot of records inside my database. So we're just going to show two per page. In the real world, perhaps you want to show 20 per page or 50 per page. So we're going to show two records per page and hit OK. So here's our dynamic table. Now, what we to do here is we can select this table and put it in the center. So we can go to alignment, center. So now it's in the center. So make a change, save a change. So this is going to show the table dynamically two records per page. Now, what happens if I have more than two records. Well, I want the PHP page to create records for me, create the pages for me. So we have to come up with a navigation system. We have to build this navigation system. So right here where the cursor is, we're going to 
wanted to put that, that kitchen system right here. Okay, so again, this is applied to the center, so this is going to be center aligned. And we're going to put the navigation system right here. So inside the data tab, inside the data tab, there's two sections. There's one for record count, record two, three, four, five. There's one for navigation. So the first step is we're going to put record status. Record status, which record set? Record set called products. Okay, now I don't want this to say records. Double click, I want this to say products. Down here at the end, it the return key. So this is going to show us how many products we have in our database. So come back up here again, go to the other icon, this icon, we're going to pick record navigation bar. Now, you have two choices here, okay? We could make a text navigation bar that will say previous next, or we could do images. We're going to keep this simple. We're going to pick a text navigation bars for products, not for category, not for admin, for products, and hit OK. What just happened here? So, products. Oh, yes, I wasn't paying attention. Put it down here. So, let's go select this. Based on these choices, we're going to put this in the center. So we're going to save the changes, go and publish the page. So publish page, put, put the page on the web. Dependent files, no, we don't have any dependent files. And we're going to launch this inside of an AE web browser. Okay, so we're back on the web here, and here's the products we inserted. So as an example, let's go through this again. We're logged into the account as Jennifer, so it's going to capture Jennifer's information. Now, these fields don't have a user ID because these fields were created, these records were created before we added that feature. So we're going to come up here to boats, and let's put big... Boat and <laughs> products. Now, you're not going to see it here because we sorted this by autos. So it does, we didn't sort it by date entered. If we sorted it by date entered, it would have put boats right here. So we're going to go right now. I have, I have seven products, two per page. Therefore, it created how many pages for me? It created four pages. It created four pages for me. So if I hit next, here's the second page. Here's the third page. Here's the fourth page. Okay, so if I go back to previous, okay, here's the page, here's the record we just put in here. Boats, big green boat with the price. Now important step here, this price has not been formatted. We have not formatted the price. We'll do that in a different video. The timestamp has not been formatted. This is just coming from the server, so I just want to share that with you. So that information is just raw information on the page. The page itself has not been formatted. So first record, next record, last record. Now, this is a big deal for having a database. So if you had a thousand products in you had a hundred pages, you would have a hundred pages per product. Okay, or I'm sorry, 10 pages per product. So 10 times a hundred is a thousand. So if you do this statically, if you build a static website, you would have to physically create these pages. With a database, you don't have to do that. Database MySQL tied to a PHP page will create the pages for you. It will create as many pages as needed to accomplish the tasks. So let's go back to here again. So let's say autos, let's put in Chevy. Let's put a price in and add products. 
Okay, so if I go back to home, go back to add products, this is gonna show me what I just entered. Okay, so we have this sorted by autos. If I go to next, there's Chevy. Because this was sorted by the autos. It wasn't sorted by product name. If I sort by product name, then Audi, BMW, Chevy. Okay, so this is a very cool thing here that I can see the products. I don't have to go to the C panel to do this. I can see the products right inside this page. So let's cover one very important step here. What we've seen here in the list on the website were all products. So if Joe, Bill, Tila, Jennifer entered products, you see all the products because that record set has not been filtered. So we're going to create a simple form list for seeing my products. I mean, I just want to see the products I added. So as an example, inside of Facebook, you can see just your friends if you log in. If I log in, I'm going to see my friends. So in this particular case, we want to take this page. We're simply going to go to File, Save As, and we're going to call it Add My Products. Okay, now let's go back to the home page which is the index page, and let's put a link for add my products. So let's link add my products to the add my products page. Okay, let's upload this file so it's on the server so we can use it in just a second. So we can either hit command shift U or control shift U and upload the file. Dependent files, no. Okay, make a change, save a change. So to keep it simple here, guys, what we did, we simply took the my products, add products.php page, we went to file save as, the oldest trick in the book, take the existing file and save it as something else. Now, the only thing we need to do here is we need to, let's put a hyperlink to the add products page here. So let's add products. So this is going to go to the add products page, which is for all products. Again, I'm just sharing with you a technique. So let's link add products to add products page. So this is just a basic navigation technique here. So therefore the add products page, at my products page has a link to add products. Okay, now this is my add my products page. So everything is the same except, except I just want to see my products. So if Jennifer logs in, I Jennifer is going to see her products. If Tila logs in, Tila is going to see her products. If Christine logs in, she, Christine's going to see Christine's products, etc., etc., etc. So, what do we need to do to this record set? Well, I already have a record set called products, okay? But this record set, double click, this, double, this record set has not been filtered. It's been sorted, but it hasn't been filtered. So, therefore, if I hit test, it's going to show me all products. I just want to see whoever log in's products. So in this particular case, Jennifer's logged in, so we just want to see Jennifer's products. So how can we accomplish this? Okay, we can do this by filtering this record set. Record set filter based on the what? Based on the user ID. The user ID is going to be tied to a session variable. Remember we did this inside the admin record set. So we can do the same exact thing for the products record set. So user ID is going to be tied to a session variable called exactly what we called it before, mm underscore capital user name. OK, 
Okay, so the only thing we did differently for this page, it's the same exact page as before, but this page is now tied to the person who logged in. Very, very cool stuff. So we're gonna upload this page, Command Shift U, upload the page, and I'll show you how the page works in just a second inside of a web browser. We're back in the web browser. And now I just want to share a concept with you guys. Now, would you have both? Probably not. If you just want to see your products, you just have your products. But I'm just sharing with you the flexibility of how I can filter a record set to suit my needs. So record sets are important. Record sets are used for seeing the information from the database on the page. And it's totally up to you how you want to filter that information for this particular page. So if we go to add products, we're going to see all the products that all the users entered for this database. But if we go back to add my products, we're just going to see my information. Okay, we're not going to see anybody else's information. We're just going to see my information. So let's look at the difference here. If I go home and I go to add products, we're going to see eight records because somebody else entered some of those other records. If we go back home and to add my products, we're going to see four records because four records by this particular user was entered. So if we were to go back to boats and pick large black boat, Price that for that at products. Now we have a total of five products with our user ID. If we go back to home and we go back to add products, we have a total of nine for the whole entire database. But for our products, we only have X amount. So add products page has been filtered to recognize our username as mm underscore username. So again, this is exactly how Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, all those database-driven websites are based on user ID. You have to log in first. Once you're logged in, then you can capture information and store information. It's a very, very cool system. Once you understand the system, you can create an entire content management system. You can create your own website with all the features you want tied to a database. You could technically create your own Facebook. I don't suggest doing that, but you could do that. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Again, if you enjoy what I share, support what I do by buying my $39 A to Z e-commerce video that comes all the files, goes much more in detail than these free videos. So again, enjoy the day. Carpe diem, if you enjoy what I share, then support what I do. Have a good day.